Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival. And here we are, guys. We are down on Akua. It's, well, going to be dawn fairly soon, which is good timing, because in this part, I want to talk about base building. Now, base building is an interesting subject, and it could be, you can take it as far as you want. But in this part, I'm just going to cover the basics, also, for, especially from the perspective of if you start a new game and you don't want to take over a mining base or this friendly POI, how do you go about building a base from the beginning? But before that, guys, I want to talk about something else. A comment from John V said 800. I actually, with his help with the debug tool, I actually found the gap in the base. It was up here. And you can see I actually had to remove some of these facing panels to find them. It, I think the, one of them was actually behind a facing panel here. It's just one of the reasons why I couldn't find it. And the base is now looking good and it's airtight. And it's just going to go up and show you guys. So if we come around here and just kind of squishing up around here. So come in here, if I go across through all my plants that I've got growing, you can just see the concrete blocks here. And you can see my plants are growing up quite nicely. In fact, you can see the difference in the speed that they're actually growing now. They were growing quite slowly, probably because of the low temperatures. I don't think if you've got a base, if it's not airtight on a Kua, I think what actually happens is the plants just grow slower because the temperature never got to freezing, which would have killed them. It just slows them up. Now, I've got a growing plot here, which I can't plant into because of this switch here. But I don't think it's a problem because, obviously, as I've mentioned, we're going to be looking at building bases. So we will eventually be moving out of this area here. Um, it's a bit dark here. The other thing I want to draw your attention to, guys, if you look in the top right, you'll see I've killed a humanoid alien insect. Now, the reason for that is that I was actually just wandering around looking at things and I was offside the base and the, and as usual with Imperium the moment you do something and you stop looking for them you end up getting attacked from behind or something like that which is a pain in the neck and what I want to do is actually I've, I've I think what I need to do is get the tomatoes and the allure in here you can also see I've been making some canned meat because I've now got corn, meat and tomatoes. In fact, I could probably, if I actually take that out, just to show you guys, because as I say, I'm, I'm, they seem to have changed the recipe, which is, is all part of the fun and joy of playing early access games. We can only make one, but why not? It's, it's fun. I might need it while I'm building. Or while I'm doing that, before you start building a base, the key fa factor you need to do is stock up on resources and build the basics because especially on other planets oops, sorry, I haven't emptied the, f the food processor I need to put this stuff back in the fridge so it doesn't spoil especially if you're building on Omicron or even Akua that you've only got the, the truce period which lasts roughly a day so the f what you need to do is when you first start a new game if you want to build base straight away you need to build up on stock up on resources the other thing you also need to do is get to level three as fast as possible partly because you're going to need a weapon i.e the assault rifle to defend your base especially uh, on omicron because the moment you place your base the drones are going will appear within a period of time it also applies to a kua and of course, the other reason you want to get to level three before you really build a base is one, it gives you access. You need the small generator. You also need the um, guns as well. Now, I've unlocked sentry guns and cannon turrets. So the other thing I also need to do is, I think it's in the personal cargo box. Yeah, I'm just going to bring my survival one over as well. Yeah, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place, guys. I'm trying to think two things at once. It's one of the joys of pleasure. And before you actually get your base underway, what you want to do is, well, you need to make a fuel tank, a generator, and a large constructor, especially when you're starting the game. I don't really need the large constructor because I've got one over here. And, of course, what you need is plenty of power because, obviously... You're going to need to power your base up straight away. And, ah, great. It's raining. Um, I'm just going to come up here. 
And while I'm walk walking towards the base, I'd like to say thank you to uh, oh, Drossazona. I think that's the correct pronunciation of your name. Apologies if it's wrong for reminding me about turrets. Now, I have to confess that I'm not a big fan of turrets. They tend to go through a lot of ammunition incredibly quickly, especially on ships. If they're not set up properly, they will seem to love firing at everything in sight, which is a pain in the neck. But this the purpose of this series is to cover the basics, so thanks for that reminder. I will be building a, a turret. In fact, let's just have a quick look, guys. So F2... I mean, I'm kind of a bit inclined. Oh, it looks like you can see I've been looking at them. I, c I can see maybe maybe one of these tier 5 hovercrafts. Maybe we'll make that something like this. It's not uh, overly heavy in resources. Uh, I mean, I will have a look in creative mode to see what they're like. But maybe we can build a tank-like hovercraft for, for fun purposes for playing around with turrets. I think... Again, if you're new to the game, guys, if you want to experiment with turrets, it actually pays to build something from the template rather than trying to build one from scratch. Because obviously the templates have built, been built and things have been, well, I'm assuming that things have been well and truly done. Anyway, back to base building, guys. And of course, the first thing you need is a base starter kit. And of course, we're going to put the blocks because we're going to throw down lots of blocks. And of course, we've got lovely weather to do it all in here. And of course, the local ug bug ugly is already coming at us. Now, lo base location. Well, on a Kua, you can be quite relaxed because of the nature of the planet is that you don't need to worry about oxygen. You don't need to worry about various other things. You can actually build a base underwater if the water is deep enough. You know, if you, you go out here far enough, guys, you can actually have an underwater base. Although, on a Kua, that might actually make life a little bit interesting from the perspective of the, how can you say, of the oxygen supply. And, of course, what you first thing you need to do is put your base down, or your core, and that's your core. Now, the core, for anybody who's new to the game, is the... the once the core is destroyed, your base has been taken. So putting the core down and then defending the core is quite important. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here. Uh, well, I think we can come out one, two, three, four. I'm going to go quite big because one of the reasons why I want to build this base is the fact that the current base is a bit restrictive. So if we come out four that way and maybe we'll come out like that. Now what you will get is underneath here you can see that there's a gap. Now one thing you've got to be aware of guys is I think it's called base or in integrity. So you need to support the end like that and, and of course once you've got this here you can come out like that. So you can even build underwater if you want. Um, and and it's, like I said, you, you do need to have plenty of production going for the blocks. And I, th I think, let's see if I can get this in. Ah. Come on. Okay, we'll just, and if you hold down the control key, you can actually do something like that. I mean that should be okay from a structural point of view, correct me if I'm wrong guys. And I just love building in the rain. When it rains it pours. Okay, we, I think we can I think we can pick up that and come across like that. And I think I could probably but in this area here if it will let me come up probably because it's underwater yet oh, come on okay, let's come out let's actually I think I'm going to be okay guys from a structural integrity point so I think I think we'll just come out back and just roll over like that yep 
I mean, it's, it's a good solid base. You can see I'm, I'm going through the blocks quite now. Base defences are quite important. And you're defending effectively against two types. You're obviously defending against the drones. But you're also defending against the local wildlife. And of course, if you're building on Omicron, guys, a surface base is quite exciting in the sense of the fact that, well, because you're building a surface base, you will ha attract the attention of the patrol vessel. And I think that should go there. What I'm doing is putting another layer on top of the one below simply because whoops one that protects the core two that also creates a high wall alongside here for the base so that when mr bug ugly there wants to come and get involved he can't actually get into your base uh, if we're just going to go like that let's do it the quick way while i'm talking so i'm building a nice solid platform here for and you can see how quickly I'm actually going through the, the blocks. And oh, we this one out on the corner. Oh no, then the corner's okay. That should be nice and solid. I'm probably going to put an entrance that side. Now I'm in a good position. That I know the fact the drones will come from that side. So I think we're going to start with. Uh, and what I'm going to do is put like a a double wall across the here like that and of course we're going to change to there and um, I'm going to come across like that and we're just going to come across like this and I think that should be wide enough for me to actually land the ship so we should be able to get the ship round and land in it I mean, I'll probably extend it to give me more of a landing pad later on. Whoops, come on. Wait, hey, 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 behave yourself. Yeah, so I think we're... And of course, with Akua, you don't need to worry about making the base airtight. I mean, that can come with time. Even on Omicron, to be honest, guys, you don't really need... A, a totally airtight base I mean I mean yes that's a a long-term objective but it's not something you need to do immediately right let's just that now I probably don't need the sniper rifle what I'm going to do is put the that out for a reason which I will explain and of course we do need that we don't need the drill for the moment so it's, what you need to do is load everything onto here and of course the first thing I want to do is put out the generator it's just, I think we can get I think we can tuck the generator in the corner there and of course we need the fuel tank which I think we can put here behind the wall and of course we're going to need the large constructor which I think we can put in that corner there so the way I'm thinking at the moment guys is this is going to be my front base here and and this area here will be where my ship so it could effectively be a hangar the other thing I'm also going to do and of course you can't deploy this actually on the base but what you can do is put that close enough hey go away and what I can do is I've got some crushed stone and what I'm going to do is switch this on and I'm going to tell this to make um, I'm going to make it get that going making some blocks while I'm at it and of course the other thing I also want to do now is we need to work on getting some resources in the constructor because and I'll say I'm approaching this from the point of view of like if you were setting this base up and of course we're going to need a cargo box we're going to need an ammunition box and of course a fridge would be useful uh, uh, uh. wait you are annoying the heck out of me go away 
and, and of course by placing this you can get the height of what you need see here so effectively for this to work I need to go up another at least two well go one level at least maybe two and again I'm just gonna come in this way and mm, just press the control go across like that Oh well, on the bright side, that's given us some resources to work on. Oops, I haven't switched my jetpack on. Right, back to what I was talking about. Now I've got rid of the background sound effects. Right, and of course, <laughs> golden rule, guys, is you need to switch that on, and of course you need to fill the your generator up if you want that to actually produce anything golden fail number two right oh they say spot the deliberate mistake I mean I could um, now nah, I think I'm gonna go up one more guys I, I don't like cramped dark bases to be honest so I think we're gonna come up uh, I don't want to encase my ship just at the moment so maybe we'll just come up like that and I mean it'd be typical of me to actually encase my ship in a um, control again just fill that in there I'm just going to come down and get rid of this And of course what I'm going to do now, because we need to protect this from drones, and I, I do need to put this on just in case the drones come up here, we can put a, I'm just going to put a nice solid roof on the top. I think that's, that's okay guys, I mean eventually I will, like I said, I will extend this out and then increase this enclose this base a bit more i mean yes it's not the most elegant base in the world but that's not the object of the exercise at the moment and of course what we're going to do right now we should have the fridge the ammo box and the cargo box and of course we now need to think of defenses again on a kua it's not quite so you know how can you say essential as Omicron now one of the problems with Omicron is the fact you have the patrol vessel so quite often the starting base on Omicron is underground maybe if Alpha 8 permitting I will do an underground base as well now you need to unlock this these are tier 3 I'm going, the reason I'm going for cannon turrets as opposed to sentry turrets is due to the fact that they've changed the ammunition if I click on here, you will see that the ammunition for this is projectile rifle rounds, and these require eight steel plate, four copper, one cellulose. Where these, yes, if I click on here, you'll see that the, ra the ammunition for this is 30 millimeter bullets, which is down here. And you can see this takes more steel plates and more nitrocellulose, but it doesn't consume very, very important uh, copper. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to get about because copper can be a bit of a premium when you first start out in the game so if you're looking for defenses actually did I I didn't actually build one of those guns by accident did I let me just access uh, cancel that I want two cannon guns and of course what we need now is to I think what we could do is well I think we'll put the fridge over here oops so we'll just drop the fridge 
we can put the fridge next to there. I think we can, of course, you need the ammunition box for that can go on top of there. I suppose in, in Imperium, overheating the ammunition won't cause it to explode like it would in real life. I mean, there's no way you'd put ammunition there. And we're going to get put the cargo box in there for storage purposes. And of course, we can now, means we can now put the meat that we've got in there. And of course, it means we can also, because we've got a cargo box, we can start storing that in there. And of course, we've got a large constructor, so we can start putting that in there. And the next thing I want to queue up, something, again, a lot of this is routine, guys, would be, so I'm not making the base there. I think we'll go for a food processor because, obviously, we want to be able to start producing our own food. And, of course, we can now, now we've got the base reasonably secure. There's nothing, nobody on, on here. And, and hopefully by now, this will give us a, a nice pot. This, these are producing nice piles of blocks. And and that's actually in the wrong place. Okay. Let's just switch it off. And pick this up. I'm just going to empty it. I'm just going to pick that up. I think I, we don't really need it now. Because I can extend the base using oops perhaps haha <laughs> not one of my better ideas well we'll just use the drone again drones the ideal for actually building and extending your base guys um, I'm just gonna we can just nick that great it's gone underneath okay that's better it can be a bit fiddly base building guys but it's re very rewarding in its own way right let's just lay out again let's just do a control now it's spodged up okay i think we can get some more like that uh do this actually yep okay Go away. If you come over here, you will die. Actually. <laughs> I could have my own pet. This, 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 this. Yeah, I've got my own pet. He's just bit me. Okay. Uh, I've got some anti boat dope pills, so. Oh, well. You are entombed forever in my base for that, for biting me. So, just gonna. I'm just power up. I'm just going to take off. I'm just going to shuffle the ship sideways on my landing pad. It's not complete yet, guys. So, and and let's see, back to F5. I'm just going to go up here. I think. This one, I think I'll, I'll put as a one layer lower, like that. Yeah, we have this one layer lower, like this. I think that would be pretty big enough for the first extension. I mean, we can always modify it over time. We've now got there, and of course we've got some ammunition, which means we can put in there. And again, we should be able to just get off that for the moment. It pays. Oops. Okay. 
probably need a, a jet pack boost. You, it always pays to make sure you can actually get up on the roof, even if you have, to, even if it takes two attempts. And I think we're because what you want to do really is face put the the guns in the direction of where you're going to get potential opposition. I mean, we could probably bring them back a little bit. So we've got. Oh wait, stop looking at me. Of course, the first thing you want to do now is come in here. Uh, aliens, we don't want to take predators, don't want warp drives, we don't want mounted weapons. I mean, basically, you just want to defend against aliens. That should be enough. You don't. Uh, that should be all you need, guys, is to defend against drones. It should be correct. And of course, more importantly, we need to actually. I mean, we don't have a lot of ammunition, so we'll see if we can. Because these things can go through really large quantities of ammunition at a time. And just gonna. I mean that should defend against wandering drones should they come over here and I mean in some ways that is the basics of base building guys it's yeah it's we're up and running hopefully this will get built up and as I say I, I think what I will do is just keep extending this out a little bit again this area is I think it'd be okay. I mean, this area is getting a little bit low, but what we can do is just keep. I mean, we could extend the landing pad out a little bit this way as well, because I'm not very good at landing. I'm not very good at anything, actually. Ha! Ah. Wow. Well, one shouldn't be. You can see there's a potential integrity issue here, so we can just, oops, we can support this side by doing that. And I mean, this corner is getting a little bit low. So what we could do actually is we come out like that and so I've got loads and loads of box because I made made loads of them. So what we could do is, oops, come on, it, you were flowing. That's it. I think there must be some kind of limit. Oh no, ah, the limit is you actually run out of blocks. Okay. Now this corner is getting quite low, so that means predators could get over that wall. But what we can do is just put a, another wall like that on this corner. So to say to about there. Then this can come out like that. And that gives me a really good defensive platform but you should be able to get a block in oh, come on now the message that keeps coming up the off up at the top where it says press end if i press end you will see it says here you, you can click connect to base and then press end again to come off uh, i don't know if that will actually and what that means is that if you come out here, say I want to build, for argument's sake, something out here. Say I wanted to build a... Nah, let's do it just for the fun of it, guys. So say for argument's sake, say I wanted to build something like this. And this is out here, so we'll put another block there. 
you can build away from the base so so it means that you can build things up which can then be then connected in afterwards so so I could do something like this um, and, and some especially when you're building underground bases that can be very very useful guys because with your when you're building an underground base if you imagine like say you've cut into the side and you want to build up the entrance but you also want to build a platform deep underground for your various components actually being able to build it in two separate parts is is a very good way so that connector base can be very very useful I think that's that looks pretty good guys I'm quite happy with that and it's gonna come here let's just have a quick look at what we've got in our large constructor got a bit more ammunition we've got a food processor and my f I'm getting a bit lower uh, let's just eat that that would give me a very quick boost so this is advantage of canned food it gives you a very big hit and I think what we can do in here is put a food processor in next to the fridge so there we are guys a very basic base and of course once you've got the basic set up let's say what we can do is shove some more ammunition in so we've got 2,000 rounds of ammunition and of course what we could do now and oh, I mean, let's, get, let's get it started guys let's see we can, now I've got the, the the reason I went for the generator is that especially on something like Omicron you do need to get your power capability up and running as quickly as possible but what, now once we've got now we've got this up we can actually work a little bit on solar panels where's the solar panels there they are and I think if we go for one two three four five let's go six so so what you need is the immediate power boost from the generator because obviously you need to get your large constructor you don't want to depend on solar power when you when you're first kicking out guys so let's just have a quick look above so i would definitely recommend that when you start off you actually put in a normal generator when you're building a base and then work up to i think what i'm going to do is just tidy this corner up um again this is part of the obsession of base building guys oops no no i don't want that cancel okay let's go sometimes it get the the building thing does get a bit confused when you do something like i've just done and what you actually need to do is if we come down here i can't clear please just disconnect that for the moment I think maybe if we whoops no this four and I think if we just drop a block in let's get up here so it's dropped now what you just need to do is place a block and it will clear itself the reason I'm putting this up here is that I just want to create a method for me to get up to that next level above and I think well I think what we could do is just in case drones or anything get or something comes in from this side I think we can now start sealing the base off actually why am I using this I can because I can so we can oops, get away from my ship and maybe we can just come this way put a door in of course eventually we could put a door in there and this just means that I can jump up to here and then oh come on okay I'll do it this way then Wow, that was a 
a little bit too enthusiastic. Let's just get back to here. Yeah. Just create a step effect here so that I can jump up here if I want to get up onto the roof. What's that? Hello, guns. So I've got a nice landing area here. I probably need to move my ship away a little bit. And of course, we've got plenty of space in here for what I wanted to do, which is get an advanced constructor in here. And of course, we got the solar panels. So just around this part off, I don't need that on my thing here. Of course, we can put the crushed stone and that in here as well. Anything else I want to make before we actually go? Um, I mean, if I come here, we can have a quick look at the base. We got that there. We don't need a ventilator. Um, I don't really need a clone chamber at the moment because I've already got one back on my other base. So you can see we can make some LCD screens. We can make an automatic door. Just put a door on as well. Just to complete this off. Right. And of course we need to put the capacitor in. Maybe we just rotate this. Just drop that into the corner like that. So we're just going to go out and of course it's getting dark. But that's okay. And again, just get past the ship. And I'm just going to come up here. And like I've done on my other base, I'm just going to put flat panels down. Well, probably, I think we can have one just there. And we'll put one on top like that. And maybe we can. Of course, the other problem with solar panels is that you can be very vulnerable for if you get attacked. You could lose the solar panels very, very quickly. Right, just drop that in. Come on. I mean, it's probably not going to be maximum efficiency, but I think working with the generator, it, it's going to work. So we're going to have six panels like that across. I mean, I could put angle panels down there, but so we got the solar panels. They're only showing two at the moment, but then it's quite not. It's a bit early in the morning, but we'll see how the efficiency works. Well, it's dark, actually. And of course, the other thing we're also going to need out here is lights. So I just... Right, uh, have I got, can I make lights? Yeah, I must be able to make lights. I've made them before. Right, I'm just going to make, let's make, uh, let's make 10 of them. Let's put that up there. And of course, the advantage with the, let's just put the, my, light on here the advantage of having a door is that if for some reason a creature gets up out onto here the door will keep them out so if you're in here you've got a position to retreat to because creatures will not go through doors so that's looking good guys i think what we need to do is get our drills and weapons back I've done the main part of the, the building now and what I will probably do over time is eventually move most of my stuff over to here and we'll, we'll make this our primary base and of course we're going to make it look a little bit better eventually as well maybe or I will build another base <laughs> so right we've got some lights let's get Let's get some lights up in here. Maybe we'll put just we'll put a couple of maybe one up in the center there. 
that kind of illuminates in here nicely and of course what we're going to need is a couple of lights out here so maybe we'll put here we go the drones are coming and maybe we'll put another one there and we'll put another one oh it's got them all pink let's just another one there and maybe we'll put one just on the outside here and we've got one more and we'll put maybe we'll put one on the front here just so I can see see the base right it says drones are coming what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to wait to see if the drones actually come. And so I may cut, I'll, I'll probably cut the video now until the drones show up. And then we'll, we'll, I'll show you the base defenses operating if they operate successfully. And then we will take it from that. Guys, we actually missed it. <laughs> it the drone came in so quickly that he actually got blasted out out the sky before he even got close he was over here these things took two shots you can see the range that they actually took the drone out at and as I say I actually missed it we actually took this drone out so it goes to show that how effective the tunnels are and we got a little bit of ammunition and of course we got the local bug ugly <sighs> go away stop annoying me so much for that guys anyway I think this is where I'm going to call it now I'm aware that this isn't the base and I'm sure a lot of you guys will have um, opinions on what's actually happening and feel free to comment and if you've got any questions about about it feel free to ask because if we don't share the information i mean how do we expect to grow within the game i don't know if there's any more drones i'm just going to stand up here just to see if any more drones are going to come up maybe i should have stood up here in the first place this is where i'm going to leave it guys hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting as i say i'm going to continue building this base up over time and we'll, and we'll see how it goes and eventually i will move everything from the old base over here to this base and then we will take it from there so until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming